This is a continuation of the lion build in 5 inch gauge. In this video I begin work on the throat plate. This is a sectional drawing of the boiler. It shows the boiler barrel set into the throat plate and braised. I'll be silver soldering it and so I think we need to do a better joint. So I'll be flanging it something like this. First we need to prepare the material. I've pre-drilled some of the holes for the stairs, the idea being I can use them for locating pins on the former. So I've made the former, I'm just using MDF, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I cut the hole in with the CNC, That's quick, that was the quickest and easiest way for me to do it, to get the accuracy. I've made it the diameter of the barrel plus the thickness of the material. I've put in a couple of pins to locate it. The material has been supplied cut to exactly the finished size. So it's important to have these pins in to accurately locate the material in a predetermined position each time after annealing. Clamp plate I've again just used MDF which I'll clamp onto here and we'll just see how it goes. The first job now is to anneal the copper. In part two of the series, when I was making the tube plate, I had to shrink the larger diameter down to the smaller diameter. This was done by working from the edge of the blank and gradually bringing it down to the former diameter. Then working towards the bend location to flatten it out. In the case of the sword plate, I have to work from a smaller diameter up to a larger diameter, stretching the material. In this case I will try to work from the bend location and towards the edge of the hole in the blank. Something like this. Well, I didn't really have a suitable hammer so I've just uh, turned up a bit of nylon and put it on this hammer so we'll give this a go. Time for another anneal. Time for anneal three.
So that's another anneal. It's just about there, so I'm going to push through the dolly I turn up on the lathe, which is the size of the tube. I'm just going to tap that through and see if it will help get it the size. Okay, it's nearly there. I'm just going to give it one more kneel and try it on the tube and get it to fit the tube just nice. It's been annealed again and it's already had the MDF former pushed through there. It's still a little tight on the tube. So I found a piece of uh, brass which I've turned to the diameter of the tube plus a few thou. And we're just going to try and push that in. Okay, we'll try it on the tube. Yep, yeah, fitting just nice. I can just take that up with a file, make sure I've got enough clearance all the way around for the silver solder. But for now, I think we'll make that do. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.